Hi guys, welcome back to our gut series. Uh, my name is Angela Colpar. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here. For those of you that don't know me, um, this week I'm going to be talking about the fourth R in our five R's of gut health. And so I'm specifically talking about repairing our gut lining. So we've already given you a little intro of ways that you can remove things to um, mitigate some inflammation that's wreaking havoc on your gut, um, some things to add to help um replace things that you're already missing. Um, so specifically repairing, this is like one of the most robust um, components of doing a gut protocol and uh, really helping your body to heal. Um, so to give you a little overview is uh, when we have all this inflammation, something that commonly happens in our gut, which a lot of people have heard is leaky gut. Um, so I'll give a basic overview. When that stomach gets really inflamed, um, things just start to get a little loose or leaky, like we say. And that's because in our stomach, we have gap junctions that typically they're nice and tight. It keeps our stomach fully sealed. Naturally, our stomach does have some permeability to allow nutrients to go in and out. But typically, these are very small particles. Now, when our stomach gets really inflamed in that intestinal lining, those gap junctions, they get a little bit loose. And um, so that allows larger particles than that then should be outside of the gut to leave, um, exit the gut and also come in. So not only letting things that we don't want out, but letting things we don't want in. So it just really creates an imbalance. Um, an example I really like to give my patients is that when things exit our gut that don't belong in our bloodstream and in other areas of our body, our body quite literally rec recognizes it as that's that's not me, or you'll hear not self. So when your body recognizes something in your body that's not supposed to be there, um, it sends out signals to try to um, repair it. So that is a really, really basic way of explaining how um, an autoimmune disorder is born, how food allergies are born, um, or just specific symptoms. Um, this manifests in people very differently. Um, I see some patients that just have fatigue. I have some patients that have anxiety, depression, um, rashes, psoriasis, eczema. Um, something we say here a lot is the skin is really reflective of your gut. Same thing with your mental health. Um, and of course, the more obvious symptoms of bloating, indigestion, belching. Um, so like I said, a lot of those symptoms will manifest differently. So, so what do we do about it, right? We've already talked about a lot of the food options that you can... Um, swap out, which is really, um, I guess that's actually really the bulk of it because that's the hardest part to do is changing our lifestyle. So one example I'll give you just to refresh things is, you know, getting rid of some of those inflammatory um, oils that you might see in more processed foods, switching it out with something that's not only going to be less inflammatory, but actually help repair that lining. So extra virgin olive oil is an example I like to give. It's very healthy on the gut and it actually helps to repair some of that inflammation. So we need all that inflammation to go down so things can kind of tighten back up um, and keep its ability in our gut to be able to keep those barriers um, tight so pathogens that we don't want in our gut don't get in and things that we don't want getting out get out. Um, so aside from food, there are some products that we use to help accelerate that healing process. Um, we have a couple products. Um, one that I'll mention that some of you may be familiar with is Glutashield. Um, Glutashield actually contains L-glutamine. Um, we'll see it here. We have a chocolate and a vanilla. Um, this is a product we commonly use because it has that L-glutamine, which is very healing to the gut. It's also very cooling to our esophagus if we have um, acid reflux. And it also has lots of different um, components in it. So this one specifically, vitamin A and zinc and some aloe vera. So you can see the, the pattern here. It's de-inflaming the gut, helping to promote that healing. Um, there's also several supplements kind of like that zinc and that vitamin A that I'll get into in a minute that help to really uh, repair that lining. The other product that we actually are really excited about and just started using is Mega Mucosa. This is from Microbiome. And um, this contains immunoglobulins, which really is our immune system. And that's what helps not only to heal that gut, but to strengthen our immune system, which um, some of you may not know is our immune system really comes from our gut. If our gut is not healed, then um, our body wreaks, wreaks havoc and can't um, function the way it should um, optimally to protect us from those pathogens I've talked about and things that weaken our immune system. So those are two of like the main powders that we'll put together, um, one or the other, depending on what's going going on with you, um, to help 
promote the healing of that gut, along with um, some other things like the probiotic that Taylor talked about previously, the digestive enzyme I talked about a couple weeks ago. Um, this, the those components they all go together. So, for example, that digestive enzyme when we take it with those powders with that meal, it all helps things to work better. So we have those digestive enzymes or that firepower, like I've mentioned, to uh, allow your body to digest it, to absorb it. So it all works together. So really what we're trying to do is reteach your body how to do this on its own. So these are often um, short-term things during these gut protocols. Sometimes people need them extra or longer for variable symptoms. But as you can see, it's really retraining your body, getting you back to a homeostasis so you can... Um, your body can do these things and how it was destined to do them. And um, something I want to mention also that is um, essential really to repair the lining is some supplements that a lot of us take on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so one big one is vitamin D. Um, vitamin D, it, we know it repairs our immune system, which we talked about is um, is huge in our gut. Um, but vitamin D deficiency can actually lead to um, inflammation in the gut and um, <clears throat> an inability to work properly. So again, letting those particles go in and out. Um, and then if we're thinking anti-inflammatory, fish oil is a huge one. I won't dive too deep into it, but those omega-3s are essential. Um, fatty 15 is a huge, um, exciting product that we're going to be carrying that, again, is a healthy fat that helps to de-inflame. Um, berberine specifically, if you have insulin resistance, very de-inflammatory. Um, and things like vitamin A and zinc, which I talked about, are actually in these products. So all those supplements that you may or may not be taking, we may suggest adding in. So it's all about repairing that gut lining to help it function um, function better so you can feel more optimal.